Welcome to JLM University. On this episode, we are going to be replacing the top cap on a micro anchor. All new top caps will feature Seamonster 2.0 control system. The only tools needed for this replacement are a flat bladed screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. To begin, disconnect the micro unit from power. Depending on how the unit is powered, this can be done by disconnecting the power cord plug or removing the micro battery pack. Next, remove the malfunctioning cap by inserting a flat bladed screwdriver beneath the flange on the cap and prying it up and over the tab. Once free, the cap will easily come off. Next, use needle nose pliers to remove the red and black motor wires from the circuit board. After the malfunctioning cap has been removed, connect the positive and negative motor wires to their terminals on the new cap. The red wire connects to the vertically oriented post and the black wire connects to the horizontally oriented post. Once the wires are connected, apply a ring of the included silicone grease about one inch thick around the perimeter of the inside of the micro body. Install the new CM2 cap by pushing it down until it snaps into place and then reconnect the unit to power. The unit must be calibrated before use. To calibrate, insert a spike and press the battery level and anchor force buttons on the micro unit simultaneously until the unit begins to move. The unit will go through a series of deployments and retractions. Be sure to allow at least three feet of clearance for calibration. That is how to install a Seamonster 2.0 top cap to a micro anchor. The included dash switch and key fob come pre-programmed to the unit.